Hey there, it's Octopus, and today I've got a short and quick video for you. This one is going to be on permissions because I've been asked about it a lot. Uh, almost as much as GUI menus, which I did in the last couple of tutorials if you want to watch them. Uh, this one's actually a lot simpler than it seems. Uh, I too waited a long time thinking it was complex, but it's fairly easy. Uh, so let's just go into Eclipse here. Uh, let's jump right into it, as I keep saying. And we can scroll to, uh, let's see, what do we want to do first? Let me check my list here. We're going to, let's see, we'll go to listener class. And we're going to uh, look for when the player uh, tries to build blocks, such as like placing them or something like that. And we're going to go ahead and cancel that if they don't have the build permission or a plugin. Uh, and by the way, permissions can be found in the permissions.yml uh, file. You can manage it usually with things like group manager which are, are essentials or something like that, you know, the other plugins. Uh, Permissions X, I'm not really going to recommend one because they're all good and they all do their own things. You'll just have to research them. Uh, but if you want to just kind of have a quick and dirty permissions thing going on here, you can do that with the permissions YML file and your plugin. All right, so we're going to search the event handler and we're going to get uh, on block place, right? And we're going to be looking for a uh, block place event. I'm not sure if that's the correct one, but we'll see here in a moment. Uh, block place event. Yeah, that's it. Cool. And we're going to open up some space. Uh, and we're probably going to want to get the player, right? Okay, so let's start with the player. Player player equals player uh, e dot get. Oh, event. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, you got get player, and then we're gonna want to get um, their permission. Uh, so we're gonna check here. We're gonna do an if else statement. Uh, maybe yeah, if else that'll be fine. No, I will just need the if. All right. So we're gonna check one thing, one thing only. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. This is that simple. It's just like a little. This is the beef of it right here, guys. Um, we're gonna check if the player has the permission. And it's going to be in the format of a string uh, with the dot between, usually you name it after the plugin. So we're going to say hello world too. If you have hello world, you'll do hello world. Um, and the perm will be usually the name of it. You can change this up. You can also, like say if we do build, because that's what we're checking for. We can also have build um, nether. So you could check whether or not they're in the nether and um, check for that perm. And it could be a child of build. But, I, you know, we'll just stick to this one level sort of. Uh, permission here. Uh, you could call, also call it nether build if you want. You wouldn't have to make children uh, nodes like that. So just if player has permission hello world 2 dot build, we will go ahead and or sorry if they don't have that permission, we will set the event to cancel. So um, set cancel true. I believe that's correct. Yep. Uh, set canceled. Oops. Event dot uh, set canceled. <laughs> Almost forgot the event part again. All right, and then that will stop them whenever they don't have that permission. So you will have to give them permission uh, build to build in your world. This will be for any block that they place. So keep that in mind. The next thing we're going to do is if they're destroying a block, which is probably uh, more harmful harmful than placing blocks, you could say. So on block destroy, uh, we're going to go ahead and do block destroy event. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like destroy or edit or something like that. Block destroy. Block break. I think that's the one I want. There it is. The block break event. And this is going to be the same thing. We're just going to get the player and check if they have the permission. So you can see it's really just another example of the same thing. And if they have the demolish perm, we'll call it demolish. It can be anything you want. Demolish W, why not? <laughs> and we'll cancel that if they don't have the perm. And finally, we're going to want to do it for the give sword command too. So we don't actually do this here. We, I'm going to copy uh, the check. Perfect. I'm going to go to our command section here. And so we're going to go down to give sword. That's kind of an OP uh, way to get a sword, you know, infinite sword. So we don't want anyone to have it except for our uh, approved friends, I guess you could say. And we're going to, let's see, uh, give sword. Uh, we want to get, we have the player right where we do the uh, inventory add item 
we're going to want to check if they have a correct permission. So we'll go ahead and create a new uh, if else check here. I'll kind of just paste it in there from the uh, last class we had and then copy this out and put it in the middle. There we go. So if they do have the permission, go ahead and give them that item. Otherwise, you're going to say uh, player dot send message, you know, no sword for you, right? No sword for you. There we go. Perfect. So that's very descriptive. That is an excellent <laughs> error message that will not confuse anybody. I'm being sarcastic, of course. Please write better error messages. And um, we're also going to want to do this for the GUI. So I'm going to copy that again. You see, I'm mostly just copying things here because it's all pretty much the same. It's that one line that's important. We're going to go up to GUI and uh, if not success, right. Okay, so we're going to do paste that right in there. Check for GUI. I, don't, I forgot down here. We did not check all the way at the bottom in our give sword. We did not check for the right permission. It should be permission sword, just like that. Perfect. And uh, for this one, GUI. That's very straightforward. So we're going to copy our stuff out here. Paste it. The error message is fine for now. I really, no big deal. Um, and we don't need the item part here. That's in the last one. Perfect. And then we can grab this here and put that error message in there. Um, there we go. That should do it. That's kind of a rough way to do it. Um, there are better ways to implement this block of code here, but you know, quick and dirty. Why not? We're going to save all of our classes here and we're going to go into the plugin. So I'm going to open up Hello World 2 here and plugin. Open with my text editor. Perfect. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom and create some more space. Oops, too much space. And right at the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and type in permissions. Right, a uh, new header just like uh, commands or whatever parent node, I guess. I don't know if you call it YAML. And we're going to want to do hello world 2 because that's our first permission. And it's going to be like that the asterisk. The asterisk is a wildcard if you don't already know, so it sort of just counts for everything. And we're going to want to do description. Uh, permission for all Hello World 2 commands. Uh, yeah, that, that's just right. Perfect. And then we need the children. This is the main one, so we're going to need children for it. I'm not 100% sure if it's necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see how many of three spaces. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. And I don't know if this is necessary, but you know, I do it anyways. Uh, so Hello World 2 build is true. Um, Hello World 2. Uh, demolish is true. These are all the terms we made, so we're kind of just listing them out here. Uh, sword is true. You can change the true to false if you don't want the default to be like that. I think that's what that uh, section is there. I'm not 100% positive, so don't quote me. I'll do your own research. I just always leave it at true and have a command that switches it out, like a config command. Uh, like I said, quick and dirty. <laughs> Finally, do one, and we're going to set that to true. And we're going to go back. Uh, to the same line here, and we're going to type in each individual one. Hello World 2 this is a lot of typing, but we can get through it. Uh, there we go, uh, all the way to here. And this is going to be, have a description as well. You can already tell I'm listing out all of these permissions here as their own nodes of Hello, you know, Hello World 2 permissions. You do have to do this part, I'm pretty sure. Uh, permission to build blocks, and so forth. And we can copy them out here. Oops, that's a little bit too much. I'm just going to copy and paste four times and edit it that way because I don't want to keep typing it out. Okay, now we got all this out. We're going to go ahead and save that as well. And I believe that's pretty much it. We can export that and we're good to go. So we covered it all. Perfect. And do that here. Export. You know the usual, and we'll export it to in um, not that one, Hello World 2. Perfect. There we go. And go uh, to our server files here. Oh, hold on, let me open that up. And there we go. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down. This is the permissions file here. If you don't know, it's a YML file, uh, just like plugins YML. And let me bring that up. You can see it's blank for me. Uh, Usually your group manager will reference this file. Uh, you'll have to learn how to format it for yourself. Um, 
So, you know, you just uh, search online probably for documentation for it. And what you'll do is probably group people up into uh, groups, sort of like rankings. And uh, each player will get permissions based on that. You just list them out in YAML format. Uh, let me close that here. I'm not going to do that because I don't have a permissions plugin installed. But you can tell if it doesn't work because uh, I don't have the permission. I have no permissions. So it shouldn't work for me. And I can take it out and you'll see it'll work just fine. Okay, now we're in the server, and let's load up. You can see I've actually been using my gun plugin here, so I'm getting rid of all that junk. Yeah, and I blew up some enemies, all the holes you can come in from. Uh, so, yeah, let's use for an example that some guy has been coming on your server and blowing giant holes with TNT. Right, um, kind of annoying. Uh, so, here I've got a block of grass, I can destroy this with my hand. Let me go ahead and, ooh, let me try that again. Um, I forgot I was in creative mode, uh, OP mode. So I'm going to de out myself. Because ops apparently have all the permissions uh, by default. If there's Maybe if there's nothing in the perms file, I don't know, don't quote me. Again, another thing you might want to research. So uh, I de out myself, and I'm going to go into game mode. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and we're going to try this. Oh, look at that. No such luck. I didn't get an error message because I forgot to pull in for uh, the block placing and destroying, but whatever. So you see, that's fine. Uh, if I give myself a block here, uh, let me opt myself again. And we'll go back to game mode one. We'll grab ourselves some blocks. Grab a whole stack of those guys. Uh, that works. And game mode zero. And then de opt ourselves. You can see I can't place anything when I don't have any permissions, just as we intended. Um, I'm sure you've seen this on a lot of servers, so you know you ever thought, wow, they must have really done a lot of coding for that. No, no, not at all. Uh, it's just one line, really. <laughs> one if-else check, essentially. So there you go.